why are the, the allegations you left now you are Kenyan husband to be with this white man come from the stereotype an African woman a white man yes. they either they seduced you mm-hmm. or like you after money yeah I'm, I'm after money no one will ever believe that you left your ex because yeah you're not compatible you left you didn't leave him because you you found you cheated mm. but then that was not the case some people watching might think you know you are selfish you should have put fought for your marriage you should have stayed you should have gone home and made it work what do you have to say well i actually tried to do that and he didn't have time to 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 talk to mm. come i'm making time for you mm. but then you're not making time for me when are you supposed to make time for me i mean i'm living now i'm not living tomorrow i'm not living in two years I decided okay I am just going to leave this um we are not aligning we are not going to the same direction so it's better just to stop it at this yeah. point and not because he was abusive or not because he was not laughing but yeah. then just his interests were not aligned with mm. my interests why do you have a problem with the statement that god hates divorce it keeps a lot of people in marriages because of that statement when i was deciding to leave my thought was is divorce a bigger sin than just i don't know um committing adultery mm-hmm. or um just being unhappy A very good morning to you team LNN and welcome to LNS. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now, do those terms confuse you LNN and LNS? Okay. LNN is the network, LNS is the Lynn Gugi show. Karibuni sana. I am coming to you straight from Belgium. I am so excited because who thought when we started this channel, we would be going around, you know, bringing you impactful stories, bringing you sometimes a bit of sorrowful stories that we all get to learn. and from and then from the follow ups you are able to see what us coming together can do so thank you so much for tuning in i'm love in belgium maybe our guest will tell us more about it because it's quiet guys do you know even from my window i have not seen any person moving on and about and i'm like hi yeah do people move around here so maybe our guest will be able to tell us more about this country i am so excited to have her here because her question is if god hates divorce what are you supposed to do if your marriage is not working did she leave her kenyan man to come and be with a white person and what exactly is her story i'm about to let her introduce herself but before i do that i have to say thank you so much to the incredible partners that made this trip happen our friends at kings developers you have seen them on the show you have seen insurance you know diaspora and of course tap tap the people you can easily send money with from here all the way back home we appreciate you thank you so much for coming through and if you are wondering who the dress is may I travel with my people from elegant so asante ni sana wacheni ni feature slit and of course now without further ado please allow me to let my guest today in belgium introduce herself good morning good morning how are you I'm very good. Do you get people who are this excited or oh, I'm the first one? You people seem to be laid back, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yes. Um my husband always says he finds um Kenyans very enthusiastic and very open so yes. whenever I'm, I meet Kenyans yeah. I also get that rush. We are but, such a vibe. Yeah, right? but Kenyans are really like really excited. We are crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and How are you? It. I'm very good. Yes. Very good. Thank It's really you. nice to meet you yes. and to be able to have a chat with you. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate that. Please introduce yourself. Okay. So, my name is Victoria yeah. Nyawera Nyaga. Okay. Yeah. And I grew up in Mbere, yes. Kiambere yeah. in um Embu. Yeah. I went to school there. Yeah. I studied in Kenya mm-hmm. and I worked in Kenya for a while and yes. then I came to Belgium yeah. and then I got married and I am a mother of two kids mm-hmm. four and a half yes. a boy yeah. and a girl who is six and a half <laughs> congratulations thank you thank you you know I, I we were just counting and you've been here in Belgium for how long 
Uh, I came in 2011. Yes. So that's Almost 12 years. Oh, 12 years. Yeah, 12 years. How is the place? I love it, but it's also... Kenya is warm. Mm. The people are warmer, yeah. the people are open. Yes. But Belgium is laid back. Yeah. Um, the weather is not so great. It can be cold. Yeah. The people are very close. Yes. But I think with every place, there's the negatives and the positives. Uh, yes. And it really depends on how you look at it. Yeah. Eh? So I am happy here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also happy in Kenya. Yes. It just depends. Yeah, really how you experience yeah. it. I, I love both. Yeah. And I, who knows, maybe in future we retire in Kenya. Mm -hmm. But for now, I love it. Yeah, can I tell you the most uh, weird thing I yeah. saw yesterday? So yeah. I know it's summer. Yeah. But how is it 9 p.m. and oh, the yeah. sun is still yes, out? Yes, that yeah, was so yeah. confusing yeah, for me. Yeah, I was yeah. like, ah, this is yeah, nice. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, wa I was just there trying to video myself. Yeah. 9 p.m. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the sun was still yeah. out. So mm -hmm. you experienced that? Yes, bit. yes, yeah. So actually what's like in our house, because yes. yeah, with kids who are young and mm. if they have to go to school, they have to sleep early. Yeah. So you, um, our windows, we uh, you install really, they are called in Dutch roll leg. Yeah. So it's really something which rolls and then it makes the room completely dark okay. at eight o'clock because otherwise, or if you have a child and they have to sleep during the day and yeah. it's just open like yes, this, they it's, won't. it's, yeah, they won't sleep it's there. Be so hard. Yeah, so for me, and growing up in Kenya, where six o'clock, dark. dark. You don't need to, you just go to sleep. Yeah. The chickens, they go to sleep. Yes. But then it's <laughs> nine o'clock and they still light. How do you sleep? sleep? How do you sleep? Yeah, so it's our windows are mm. really, you, Close them and it's totally dark. Yeah, and then that way you can sleep. Okay. Eh? Yeah. But no, for uh, me that was really interesting because yeah, uh -huh. I was seeing it for the first time in my life. Eh? Yeah. But guys, I don't wanna you know take you through all my experience. I believe I'll do a whole video showing you my experience in Belgium. But Victoria, yeah. I always want to ask this question when someone is on this set: Why was it important for you to want to share the story that we are about to go into right now? Um. I wanted to um, share my story because my life is not just about me. Yeah. Um, of course, this I want to enjoy my life and experience my life, but then God teaches you, you get life lessons from other people. You don't have to experience life so that you can learn from your own experiences. You can learn from other people people's experiences. Yes. I learned from other people's experiences. Mm -hmm. I made my own mistakes. And the thing is, I want to encourage people or I always want to encourage people to, yeah. you can learn from my book. Yes. Uh, you can learn from other people's book. Yeah. Um, and just also to question my decisions. Yes. Why did I, just to go back to why did I do this? Mm -hmm. Maybe there was a better way of, of living. Mm -hmm. But then it's just, questioning myself, but also um, inspiring other people to, you can go to a better place, um, you can make better de decisions, mm. you can move to a different path. Yeah. And yeah. you don't have to stay where you yeah, are if yeah. things are not working out. Yes, yeah. I'm going to sit back. Huh? So if you could please take us through your story, a bit of growing up, you getting into marriage, you know, living that marriage, finding love again, what have been the stereotypes, the misconceptions and the lessons yeah. you've learned along your journey? Uh, so growing up, I will just go first to growing up. Yes. Um, my, my mother was actually a second wife. Um, it's a long story to how um, she got married to my father, but then she was a second wife. Um, my father was actually not my, he's, he's not really my biological father, but mm -hmm. I never felt that I was not his child. So he really treated me nicely. Yeah. And I always like to look at how they're relating, my father and my mother, mm -hmm. how the two are relating, mm -hmm. how they are supporting each other. Yeah. They were really, um, they were a nice couple, but then also I would hear my mother complaining a bit about I don't know, my mother, my father makes a lot of noise mm. or just uh, complaining about small stuff. Mm. So I didn't like that, the dynamics that they have. Yes. They, they were okay, they provided for us, but then I was thinking like, if I'm going to look for a husband, 
how should my husband look like? I don't want it to be like my father complaining. He was really a good man. Mm -hmm. And then there was my grandmother yeah. and my grandfather. Mm -hmm. My grandmother, my real grandmother is also a second wife. Mm -hmm. um, there was the wife, first wife. Yeah. But what I loved about my grandmother and my grandfather is um, like my grandmother, my grandfather used to call my grandmother by her real name, yeah. Lucia. Yeah. But then when I looked at my father, uh, it was Nginua uh, Nyawera, yes. uh, Mama Tunyawera. Yeah. So I found the fact that you're calling my name, it's really personal, it's, mm. you really know me, it's not really a mother to someone, it's really, mm. it was our relationship yes. even before the children came. Mm. So like just that being personal mm. and really um, feeling uh, it's really me and you. Mm -hmm. So I was just looking at like all these things, that's the kind of husband I want. Yeah. This is not the kind of husband I want. Yes. He's a provider. My grandfather has his own fault, but then it's really, you pick characteristics mm -hmm. from different um, men. Yeah. Um, and at that point I was saying like, when I grow up and I'm a woman, I don't want to be like my mother who's saying like, oh, my father is so complaining, but still you stay there. Yes. It was not really bad that they are going to divorce, but then when you're really complaining about something and no one is doing something about it, yeah. it's not a good thing, eh? Yeah. But I picked all these things from them, so mm. I was saying, like, when I'm married or when I'm going to look for a partner, like, they should Have be like this. I don't want to become my mother complaining, all these things. Mm. So then um, I went to uni yeah. um, in 2005 mm -hmm. when I was 19, yeah. and of course, University is about studying, but then it's also really a nice, it's really ground for m looking for mates yes. because, I mean, after university, people get married and you start working yeah. and life moves on. Yeah. Eh? So it's your listening, but then you're also looking for who could be a match, yeah. who could be interesting. Yes. Uh, so the, the first few days at the university, you're... You're, you're getting your rooms, mm -hmm. your roommate, you're mm -hmm. discovering where the classes are, where the church is, yeah. the Bible study groups. There was um, a Bible study group which I went to and it was the first time and then um, the man was there. Or, yeah. yeah, he was there and we introduce yourself mm -hmm. and where you're coming, the high school you are, mm -hmm. how you present yourself. So you're looking and for me, he really impressed me. Yeah. He knew about God. Yes. So that really, in, really caught my attention. Like he's really, he talks nicely, presents himself nicely, dresses nicely. He knows, he knows so much God. about God. Yes. And then he went to uh, a national high school. I mm. mean, really good qualities. Eh? Yes. So after um, meeting up uh, in um, Bible study and just being friends, yeah. you know, you, you have the Bible study group. They become your friends. Yes. Eh? So every now and then you're meeting and you're mm -hmm. chatting and mm -hmm. you're saying hello and hi and mm -hmm. everything. So that's actually the first year. Yeah. So at the end of the first year, that's when we 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 we, we actually went to a yes. bomb blast park yes. and we were sitting there and they're like, uh, oh, I, I I like you, you like me, <laughs> yeah. What what is this? <laughs> Maybe we could be a thing. Yes. Um. So okay, yeah, we are a thing. That was the end of the first year. Yes. Um. And then. That's when it was like, okay, maybe we are boyfriend and girlfriend there. Yeah. But then actually, I think I went home and then he sent me a message, a message and he said like, oh, I don't think this could work or maybe like it's too much or something. I mm -hmm. really don't remember. But then yeah. it was a message which was like, yeah, no. yeah, maybe it's not a good thing or maybe we take mm -hmm. a break. Mm -hmm. And uh, I felt hurt. So I, I think actually I traveled from my village to Nairobi yeah. to like, uh, what is this? Um, I don't remember the details so much, um, but apart from, yeah, I cried, I came yeah. to Nairobi and then I went back to, to, to the village. Yes. Um, and then of course the second year started, everything was okay. So we, we are still mm. going to Bible study, everyone yeah. is studying. Yeah. It's not really like very serious, but mm -hmm. then it's like, yeah, everyone knows Yes. I hang around you mm. and your like boyfriend, girlfriend, but yeah. they're not really going beyond mm. that mm -hmm. because anyway, you as a Christian, mm. these boundaries. Mm. So the years fly by and then 
uh, he was he became um, uh, the leader of the prayers group yeah. from the church. Yeah. Um, and he was really a churchy person, fasting, and also a very um, in terms of finances, mm -hmm. he was really sharp. Yes. So he, he introduced me into forex. Yes. And then I actually remember I bought my first uh, Everready shares then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that was really exciting. And he was really a nice person, mm -hmm. um, very sharp, um, praying and very godly. Mm -hmm. So we finished uh, campus yeah. and then I go to work in Kilifi. Yes. Uh, and he was in Nairobi mm -hmm. uh, doing small um, business and small projects. Um, and I stay in Kilifi working with Camry mm -hmm. Welcome Trust yeah. for one year. First it was an internship mm -hmm. and then I got a one year contract yeah. and during that one year contract is when I was thinking okay maybe I should um, look for a master's uh, scholarship yeah. and I was looking on the internet mm -hmm. and I applied. I finished the application when I finish the application, um, then you're just waiting. Um, and then at some point, uh, I got an email, oh, you, you got, um, uh, you've been awarded a scholarship. Yes. Um, so then, of course, you're excited. Yeah. Then you're supposed, uh, uh, my contract was ending in August from Kilifi. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to uh, start studying in uh, October. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I got the news about the scholarships sometimes in May oh. 2011. Yes. Was it? Yeah, May 2011. So, mm. like, there's still some months before I leave. Yeah. So, we're thinking, okay, I'm leaving. We've been together, and this, maybe we could get married because we've been together since for a long time. Yeah. Uh, and me going to Belgium, I don't know where that will place our relationship. Mm. Um, so, we decided, okay, let's, let's, um, first uh, make it first to get married eh? yes um and that's how i got married mm. yeah did you enjoy it i was having doubts i was having doubts about us because i'm i'm a person who likes people who are consistent so like when you say something i will really hold you accountable to what you say mm -hmm. if you don't mean what you say just keep yeah. it yourself yeah so like if you say something if something comes out of your mouth, mm. be sure like you mean that. Yes. Yeah. So people, I like people who are consistent and he was not really a consistent person, but then he was a good person mm. with a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I was having doubts about us, mm -hmm. but then I was giving him the benefit of doubt. Mm. So going through uh, moving our relationship from moving from the relationship to now we are going to get married yeah. for me i was i was excited because i mean society expects you to to get married so like yeah you're becoming a woman eh? i mean mm -hmm. yeah but then at the same time you feel like oh i am not very sure the step or the yes. direction i'm going yeah. um it's really what i want mm -hmm. it's not really like the best thing yeah uh, I could get. So um, I was not really looking forward to being with a person who is inconsistent. Mm. But then we are young. Maybe give people time to still figure out. Mm -hmm. eh? I mean, after university, you're, we are still so young. Mm -hmm. Everyone is still figuring out their life. So yes. don't, uh, I'm thinking, okay, give myself time to give the other person time to grow and yes. still find out. Yeah. But then at the same time, life is moving so fast. Mm. So. I was, I was happy to some extent because I'm becoming a woman, yeah. like society expects me. Yeah. But then again... You had doubts. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not really the mm. optimal mm -hmm. place I would have loved mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, The wedding was tiring because yeah. we don't have a lot of time to yes. plan for it. But mm -hmm. then I'm happy. Mm -hmm. we, it, it was really a smooth wedding, mm -hmm. good weather, good food, nice mm -hmm. location. Mm -hmm. So it was really a beautiful wedding. Mm -hmm. Um, we had, uh, it was an only invite because it was in Nairobi yeah. and also the budget constraint. Yes. Uh, I think we almost had like 300 guests or something, um, but it was, it was nice, yeah. but I don't think I was happy. Uh, it's uh, because I don't like makeup. Yes. I had to put makeup. So. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ah. But anyway, it happened. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then? Um, so actually I got, um, what happened is um, I get married. I'm mm -hmm. supposed to leave one month before the wedding, mm -hmm. before uh, one month after the wedding. Yeah. Um, and w the other reason why I decided, uh, we actually decided to get married is because um, when I was looking at the contract, the scholarship contract, it yeah. said there was um, spousal allowance. Mm. Okay, if we're going to get married, why not just, if we are, we are having a relationship, why not just get married? And then, yeah, we can get this allowance. Yes. Eh? Um, it wasn't much, uh, probably um, 120 or maybe 60 euros, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah, if there's an allowance for your spouse, why not? Why not eh? So the thing before you get the allowance, mm -hmm. you need to g bring the marriage certificate. Eh? So um, the plan was, okay, uh, we have one month to get these documents uh, legalized and mm -hmm. everything uh, before I leave. So I go to Nyayo House yes. where you get the marriage certificate. Yeah. And when I go to ask for the marriage certificate, then uh, the person, um, the, the officers there, they tell me that yeah, they cannot give me the marriage certificate because mm. it's the marriage is null mm. because the officiating mar the officiating pastor, pastor mm. was not licensed to officiate weddings at that particular in that particular church. Ah. So yeah, our marriage was um, legally there was no marriage. Yeah. Yeah. So what do we do? Um, we went back to the church and then we we told them. And they said, okay, then what we are going to do is we will have another pastor, mm -hmm. right? Sign mm -hmm. another certificate mm -hmm. and the best couple to come yeah. yes. uh, and you guys to sign. Yeah. And then this way, within a week, you, you, have, you have a new certificate. Yeah. And that's what happened. Oh, twice uh, now. Yeah. So that's the second time mm -hmm. um, getting married. Yes. Uh, but then uh, I think the last signature was actually put one day before I left. Mm. So I didn't have to, I didn't have time to now legalize the certificate. You yes. need to legalize it, uh, then take it to the foreign affairs mm -hmm. for them to stamp it. Yes. And I probably you need to take it to the uh, Belgian embassy for mm -hmm. them to know to stamp, stamp it. it and then after that do um, send it with DHL mm. eh, to me. Yes. So my ex is the one who did those steps okay. and then he um, he sent it. he sent the yeah. he sent the certificate mm -hmm. uh, to me mm -hmm. and then I brought it to the university mm. and then they um, now they could approve the yeah. allowance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then you came here. Yes. Well, now I'm already here. The certificate yes. came after me. After eh? you. So I'm studying the. Um, it was a master's, yes. a two years master's, mm. which was very, very intensive. A lot of uh, classes, mm -hmm. a lot of group work, a lot of homework. Um, so I started in uh, October at the same time because I'm very interested in new places yeah. and where I am, I yeah. always like to integrate mm -hmm. and just know the culture. Mm. So actually the, the second week after arriving here, I signed up for Dutch classes. Mm. So I would do Dutch classes on Tuesday and Thursday in the evening. And then during the day, I'm having um, my normal classes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did that. And then the plan was maybe he could come visit me in December. Uh, after a couple of months, mm. but then, well, I don't know what happened. Mm. He didn't come. Mm -hmm. uh, so I continued studying. Yeah. Um, but then at some point in the new year, mm. I'm just starting feeling like, yeah, uh, what are we doing? We were, we were talking on Skype, but then after some time, the conversations, they start to dwindle. Eh? Mm. Yeah, you, you don't have time. Mm. To, to talk to each other and also there's the difference of time mm -hmm. time zone in mm -hmm. winter mm -hmm. the difference between Kenya and Belgium is two hours so yes. like this the conflict of time yeah. Eh? Yeah. you're already sleeping I'm not yet asleep and yeah, yeah. so but then are this um, is the, the plans that we had yeah. when I was leaving he was probably he would come join me but then the direction he was starting to take was is, different. Yeah, was different. Mm. He wants to do business in Nairobi and other projects. So the prospect of him joining me mm -hmm. becomes really um, mm -hmm. uh, the probabilities mm. they, they start going down. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I, I guess I get I, I also got time to ref reflect, reflect on the decision that I took 
to get married, was it really the best? You know, when you're alone, you, you really start to think, eh? you, you have think time to, to think a lot. Eh? Uh, and is that really where I want to be? Do I look forward to being uh, 10 years being with this man? Um, so then I started having doubts. And do I want to be, become the woman that he wants me to be? Mm -hmm. And um, the, the, the woman the society expects me to be? Mm -hmm. Do I want to be that? Mm -hmm. No. So I had doubts of where sh who should I be in a marriage? Mm -hmm. And then we talked about, um, we would talk about it with, with him um, on Skype or WhatsApp um, over time. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> pray about it, read the Bible about it, write their journals about how, yes. how I'm feeling. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, the school is still continuing. Mm -hmm. um, we finish, um, I finished the, the first semester yeah. in June. Mm -hmm. And then I have like a three months yes. of holiday yeah. until the next, um, uh, next year. Mm -hmm. So um, I the scholarship pays for your flight yeah, to to go back, home. back to mm -hmm. to home so yeah you i back. i just went back mm -hmm. and i was expecting okay yeah we just got married the last year maybe there will be a honeymoon uh maybe go on holiday i mean we have three months mm -hmm. i've been away for nine months mm -hmm. so really we have to maximize that time mm -hmm. but then yeah he didn't have time for that. The only thing that we managed to do was uh, visit my parents, I think, for one day, mm -hmm. then go to my former colleagues in Kilifi mm -hmm. for, I think, a weekend. Mm -hmm. Then there was, uh, what else did we do? Uh, those are the only two things that we did together. The mm -hmm. other th times was really busy, mm -hmm. or maybe we go biking mm -hmm. because I love biking. Yeah. Uh, but mostly it was really away and there was no, like connection something for us like mm. really holiday just a couple you're mm. newly married maybe go a honeymoon eh you've been working so hard for nine months yes now it's time to relax be yeah. with each other do yeah. things that you really like mm -hmm. but yeah so then coming back to to belgium after the three months mm -hmm. i'm thinking like oh no i don't want I, this. I don't want this that's not really the life mm. that i the life I want. Mm. I'm really a person who likes, I, tr I like to travel, um, do sports, discover places, mm. but then he was not that kind of person. Yeah. And I don't look forward to that kind of life. Mm. So something had to change. Mm -hmm. And he was not coming to study here yeah. because that was the plan in the beginning. So, okay, things are not really working out. Mm -hmm. And not because he was abusive or not because he was not laughing, but yeah. then just the, the, his personality, mm. his energy in mm -hmm. terms of mental energy mm -hmm. and just his interesting, his interests were not aligned with mm -hmm. my interests. So mm. um, it was not a good match. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it was not making me happy. I'm not really, it, not really miserable, but then again, not it's, I'm not happy, eh? yes. yeah, because I mean, some people will say, as long as you're not starving, you should appreciate your yes. life. But then again, if you're now eating, you, 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 have, you, you have everything, mm. should you just settle for, for that because you're not starving? Yeah. Mm. I don't think so. Mm. It's like, be 100% happy in yes. all aspects. Yes. Yeah, and that's, that's what I wanted. Mm. And it was not uh, the match for my perfect happiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I had to change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So came the divorce. And yeah, so actually the divorce took a long time because mm -hmm. the laws of Kenya about divorcing, they're really um, difficult mm -hmm. and they, 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 it's a long process. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm doing my exams, the final exams, mm -hmm. And that's uh, when we decided, um, I asked him like, yeah, what, what are we going to do about this crisis? And then he said like, okay, you decide for yourself what you want with your life. Mm. I'm not going to, um, uh, I'm not going to interfere, interfere with your decision. Mm. So um, if you're going to leave your marriage after just living together for such a short time, it's a bit, I don't know, it's, it feels like you're, you just left without rethinking, mm -hmm. eh? 
So I talked with my aunt, with my mother, a few friends about how I'm feeling mentally and how I'm envisioning my future. Mm. And um, I got some advices of like, yeah, does this person make you happy? Are you thinking about him all the time? Are you looking forward to spending time with him? Mm-hmm. Do you, you know, when you, you, when you care about someone, yeah. you, I think you, you, you tend to want them to be better. Yes. And then when you want someone to be better, you always like, okay, your hair is not good. Eh? Mm. Make, make it better mm-hmm. because you care about the person. Yeah. But then when you don't care about the person, you don't care about their hair. Eh? Yes. <laughs> so one of person said like, do you really hold, hold him accountable mm. for his action? Mm. Do you really care about what he was doing? But mm. then I, I don't care. I, I, I wasn't caring at that point. Eh? And that's, that's a way of telling you like, you really don't love this person. Mm. Eh? Mm. Well, you love him as a human, but then, you know, like. Not as a partner. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then does it make you feel warm mm. and fuzzy? Mm. There wasn't that feeling. Eh? Mm. Uh, so I decided, okay, I am just going to leave this. Um, we are not aligning. Mm. We are not going to the same direction. So it's better just to stop it at this yeah. point. So we decided, okay, I'm going to leave. Mm. Um, but then he was angry because, yeah, he was really a nice person. And then you just divorce him. I mean, that's really a bad thing. You really, he said, I tarnished his name. So I said, okay, um, to pay you back for this damage, then you can just keep everything mm. uh, we, we have. Um, for the last two years from um, the, um, the scholarship, I would just pay my rent and um, pay my upkeep and then send him most of the money mm. to buy land and um, yes. maybe for his school fees or something to support him. Mm. So we, I had paid almost more than 800 mm. Kenya shillings, mm. I think three pieces, five pieces of land mm. every now and, uh, everywhere in Nairobi, not Nairobi, I think Lukenya mm. and I don't know some other places. So mm-hmm. like, there were some few pieces of land yes. under his name, not mm-hmm. under my name. So mm-hmm. I, ke- I said, just keep everything, even the house, um, the bed, just everything. Um, and he's, yeah, he was okay. We, he was fine with that mm-hmm. because anyway, I, I have a future or like I'm looking forward, like I'm still able to provide for myself. Mm-hmm. Even if I don't have nothing today, I will work and I will get these things again. Eh? Yes. I've left this man. I'm not yet divorced. I'm studying my PhD. Mm. The PhD is going to take four years. Yeah. If I'm going to stay here for four years, then I think it's better also just to look for love or mm. relationship, just mm. yeah. something to keep me going. Mm. You never know where life is heading. Yes. But then if I'm here, I have to think about life here. Yeah. 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 Uh, but then how do you look for people here? Mm. No idea. I mean, you, it's, the people are different, the language is different. I'm not really, uh, people here, they're not churchy people. Yeah. So meeting someone in church, it's hard. It's, it's hard. But then I'm not a party person. So meeting people Again, in parties, it's hard. It's hard. Mm. So what I did is, okay, maybe I should look online. Yeah. And that's what I did. I researched a bit about online dating yeah. and which websites um, are reliable, mm. how to judge, mm. um, which um, websites are reliable, how yeah. to look for a match mm. um, online, how to communicate with people when mm. you're online dating, which mm. information should you give? Mm. Like you have to, because online, it's really it's dangerous. Crazy. Eh? Mm. It's crazy. Mm. So, but then at the same time, it's giving you a lot of uh, possibilities. Mm. Eh? So if you're, you, you have to be careful. So yeah. I studied, I, I researched a bit about that. And then um, I looked for um, a website and mm. then I paid a subscription. Yes. Uh, I think I was supposed to stay there for one month mm-hmm. just to see how it goes. And mm-hmm. then, yeah, if it doesn't, I, it does, I, I'm not su- yes. succeeding, then I just uh, go out. Mm. Luckily, I got a match and then we, we talked. Uh, I think for three weeks or mm. something, just chatting yes. about yeah where I'm coming from. I'm married actually, 
but then yeah, you know, what's happening mm. and where is coming from his mm. family. So we talked, talked mm. a lot uh, for three weeks, mm. and then we decided, okay, we are going to to meet. Mm. So I, I said, okay, we are going to meet next to the train station, mm. such that if I don't like you, I will just take the yes. train back. Yeah, yeah. But luckily, yeah, uh, we just clicked yeah. and. Um, we stayed together, I think, for almost 11 hours wow. before I went back, wow. just walking. Uh, so, and we talked a lot and a lot. Yeah. And he knew my story from the beginning. Yes. So that's the PhD. Mm. That's when I'm studying the PhD. Yeah. I'm starting also a new relationship. Yes. Um, and we moved on very fast uh, mm. because that's 2013. Mm. After, I think, six... Um, maybe it's less than six months I you just moved I moved in yes yeah um, and then um, we stayed there mm. for that's 2014 uh, 2015 yeah but then 2015 we are thinking okay maybe we can start family mm. but now this house we are living it in in because it's interim um, mm. house mm. Um, you cannot have children because mm -hmm. the condition is you should mm -hmm. be able to move out mm -hmm. of the house mm -hmm. in a short period mm -hmm. and with children is a yeah. bit difficult because there's the school, there's yeah. the crash and everything. Yeah. So okay, we have to start looking for a house yeah. and we looked for a house and then that's how we mm -hmm. found our house where we live. So, so I, I moved in, mm -hmm. we bought a house mm -hmm. and uh, I will go back again to we moved in. Uh, I moved into in uh, 20, uh, 2014. Yes. Uh, 2015. It's been how long? 2015. I started the, the divorce process. process. Yeah. Why in 2015 is because the law in Kenya says you cannot initiate divorce mm -hmm. if you've been married for less than two years or is it three years? Mm -hmm. Two. I don't remember either two or three years. Mm -hmm. So. I separated with him. I yes. was not living with him. Yeah. Um, so I had to wait mm. for the this time. period of time before mm -hmm. I can initiate. Yes. Yeah. And he didn't want to initiate the mm. divorce. So mm. I'm the one who initiated. Mm. And um, the, the reason I used mm. was um, I decided him or he decided me. I mm. decided the house. Eh? Mm. Um, I started looking first for lawyers mm. who are going to um, uh, help me with the, the, the case, the mm -hmm. uh, but then the men, mm -hmm. they were like, yeah, your case will not hold uh, because, I mean, you decided him. They mm -hmm. uh, maybe people will say you colluded mm -hmm. and if there's collusion, uh, the court will throw out your case. Yes. But then, I mean, it wasn't <coughs> working out there. Eh? Mm -hmm. So eventually I got a lady mm -hmm. lawyer who mm -hmm. said, okay, your case actually will be very clean if your ex doesn't complain about it eh? mm -hmm. and um, we hoped he did we mm -hmm. wounded because if you wanted to um, if you wanted to complain then mm -hmm. it become complex but yes. then again he has no reason mm -hmm. eh? uh, so uh, the, the lawyer the lady lawyer um, um, drafts the, the petition yeah. serves him he yes. doesn't uh, reject mm -hmm. or he doesn't um, file back mm. or something mm. and um, the divorce process starts mm -hmm. uh, in 2016 I had to go to the court where you testify mm. you give your testimony mm. he didn't come mm. so and um, I said yeah I've moved on with my life I've mm. not seen him for the last two years mm. I have no idea where he's yeah. living and yeah. that was the truth yeah. we we cut we cut communication. ties communication mm. I didn't want to know he didn't want to know where I am, mm. what I'm doing. Mm. So there was totally the the it, it, in uh, legally it's the marriage was irrevocably yes. broken down. Mm. So um, and so I officially got divorced mm. after being apart yeah. for for two years or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. So officially then I was single mm -hmm. in the law here, mm. and then I could apply for to get married. Yes. And. Um, we got married um, in the city hall, just mm. the two of us. Mm. Actually, here it's <laughs> weird. You don't need the best lady or mm. um, witnesses. Witnesses, no. Yeah. It just was just just the just two of you. us and the city mayor yeah. signed the paper, yeah. and then they gave us juice mm. and <laughs> <Maybe> juice. <laughs> yeah, click, uh, cheers, to juices. Yes. And then we went and yeah. had dinner, yeah. not dinner, mm. uh, afternoon lunch. Mm. We did a walk. Mm. We love walking, mm. and yeah, we got married. Mm. 
And that time I was actually na almost nine months or eight months yeah. with a uh, second child, so yes. my tummy was Up this there. big yeah. and we were thinking we, we have to get married before he comes mm -hmm. because well, if you if you um, if you give birth mm -hmm. and you're not married mm -hmm. but you're living together, mm -hmm. then you have to apply, uh, you have to register that actually this man is your your um, the father of your child. Mm. So with my first, with our first child, I had to do that. Yes. We had to do that. But yeah. then, if you are already a marriage certificate, yes. then it's automatic. The law knows. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So we were hoping. Okay, we are going to get this done mm. before because the process of applying yes. uh, for for our second child that is the father, and then yeah. um, you don't have all these uh, yeah. um, things to do. Eh? Mm. And it happened, and mm. he came a couple of weeks later, and mm. so we are happy. You are happy. Yeah, you, yeah. Sa you sound happy when you talk about him. Do you think you guys you are compatible? Is that the partner you are looking yes. for? Yes. Well, um, so for me, he is a perfect. Well, everyone has their own imperfections, mm. but then in terms of his personality, he's really a person who doesn't care also so much about how he dresses mm. or is. Of course. He, you have to be decent decent mm. but then there are people who like suits mm. and there are people who like t-shirts yes yeah so this, type. yeah he's the t-shirt <laughs> type of person and mm. sports shoes and yes. um uh, we love sports mm. and biking and yeah. swimming and mm. visiting places and we we love living comfortably mm. not poor and not rich it's but then just you're comfortable mm. uh, we have dreams mm. But then it's just um, not like I don't want to become a millionaire mm. rich, mm. but then I want to be rich in such a way that I can travel and I can live comfortably. Mentally is someone who's um, um, who challenges me yes. because of the way he thinks. Mm. He loves what he does. And for me, that's really important because if you love what you're doing, then you can extend this kind of Energy, energy and passion into everything yes, else. Yes. Yeah, you will love doing things together mm. with me. Mm. You will love doing doing, doing things with uh, yeah. with the kids. Yeah. So this the, the beautiful energy. Yeah, the beautiful, the positive energy. Yes. He has that. Yeah. And also he's uh, he challenges me um, in terms of um, if I'm mm. coming out, I'm coming out too strongly mm -hmm. um, on someone. Mm then how do you he calms you yeah mm. he calms me down mm. um he's very caring mm. and the other thing is um <laughs> he's really a partner yeah yeah you know this um what for me i was looking for is someone who matches my energy mm. and someone who will not feel um that we are competing yes yeah it doesn't matter for me who brings more money mm. or who uh, is stronger mm. or who is faster mm. but then you compliment me in this way i compliment oh, you in this way mm. you i don't know you're more talkative yes. i'm less Most. talkative but yeah. then you're not feeling we are not colliding mm. we are not competing eh? mm. you have your own place i have my own place mm -hmm. yeah and you know when things just fit perfectly it mm -hmm. doesn't matter like they should not be like this, eh? There should be a gap for the other thing to fit, eh? Yeah. Where did the allegations you left now you are Kenyan husband to be with this white man come from and how did you handle that? Um well this this the stereotype or this this that perception of people or an African woman a white man yes. this either the the your I don't know, they seduced you mm -hmm. or like... you after money. Yeah, I'm, I'm after money. This, the prostitute, mm -hmm. your loose type of person like this. So I remember one of my aunts was actually saying that no one will ever believe that you left your ex because yeah, you're not compatible. You left, you didn't leave him because you you found you cheated mm. but then that was not the case but then no one will ever know the truth because mm. yeah i was here alone and um, my friends who i was studying with they are really international yeah. people so they don't know your your past mm. you're just uh, schoolmates 
they don't you know you personally so it will only be me who knows mm. the truth eh? mm. and only people who are really close to you to know that you never cheat mm. on your husband will know that mm. you're not this kind of person mm. but this that perception that yeah women mm. and white women and white men they are mm. more likely to just interact for money and cheating mm. and all those things but also this my family background mm. um i have my some of my aunts they were married or mm. they had relationship with white people when they were in uh, mombasa mm. so this i come from a family which has some um uh how the the village sees them mm. is not good is not good so there was for me that fear mm. of yeah how do i navigate now from i'm here in belgium i'm looking for a mate <laughs> my former husband was um african mm. and then yeah here are the chances of getting a um, african a kenyan man mm. they are less mm. you're more likely to find uh you have more yeah the pool is yes. the white pool is bigger than the yeah, black yeah. pool eh? mm. so how do you how do i go about that mm. uh, but i mean who cares Okay. Yeah, love is love. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and for me, I don't actually sometimes I forget his white. Eh? I I don't see the color. It's it's only when we go like to to Kenya, mm-hmm. to, we come to the village, then yes. you notice actually your white because everyone else mm-hmm. is black. Yes. Eh? Or when like, we go to maybe um, a place where there's a lot of white people, then yeah. I notice I'm black. Yeah. But then otherwise, when we're in the house, I really don't see the color because mm-hmm. I see the person. Yes not the skin would you say you are happy i am very very happy <laughs> yeah that's one of the things that actually initiated my my um leaving him mm. because i'm this i'm the kind of person who i want to wake up enthusiastic i want to wake up looking forward to, towards tomorrow mm. and if i don't see that then i'm like mm. okay no i don't i don't want this mm. i even like now i always tell my husband if i'm not looking forward to tomorrow then something is wrong something is different mm. something has to, has to be different something mm. has to change mm. so currently i'm very happy yeah. i have all i ever wanted more more than actually i envisioned mm. because i i didn't know like i would get married uh, to a white person mm. not like white is better than black but mm. then i didn't really envision the kind of husband i have mm. now and the kind of life that i'm having the kind of job mm. that i'm having mm. i really didn't see that i i know i wanted to be happy but yeah. then i really didn't see the clearer picture mm. so now having what i have now i really i'm very grateful mm-hmm. very happy yeah. and i always say i'm really blessed you're blessed yeah some people watching might think you know you are selfish you should have fought harder you should have maybe communicated to your ex you know you should have fought for your marriage you should have stayed you should have gone home and made it work what do you have to say well i actually try to do that mm. um the in 2013 um so i i knew we were not in a good place mm. we kept on talking but then february of 2013 in the middle of uh my studies mm. that there's a short break i think mm. easter mm. easter holiday mm-hmm. i said okay i'm coming to nairobi we talk about where we are heading mm. yeah so i went to nairobi and the point was we discuss mm. we really sit down yes. yeah talk about where are we going how are you feeling about yes. this my crisis how do we deal with this and he didn't have time to 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 talk i think the only time that we had time was when i was at the airport mm. airport going back and that's when he said my life is in nairobi mm. so how much more should you fight if you really you you're trying to talk mm. you put your studies yes. um to a halt mm. i'm i'm really traveling to mm. come i'm making time for you mm. but then you're not making time for me when are you supposed to make time for me i mean i'm living now i'm not living tomorrow i'm not living in two years it's like you are here now i'm here now this is let's the present. Do, yeah let's the, yeah exactly we live now of course we have to dream we have to mm. plan for tomorrow but mm. then 
it's how we are handling mm. the situation, it's how we are um, talking, it's how we are communicating. Mm. Yeah, so I, I think I fought hard mm -hmm. and it was, um, we talked and I also prayed hard about it. Mm. I journaled mm. my feelings. Mm -hmm. I talked to God about it. Mm. I talked to my mother about it, mm. my aunt about it. But then it's, are you supposed to fight really physically? It's, I think a lot of battles are really mental. If you lose a battle mentally, then it it's lost. Eh? Yeah, That's so um, I, I really fought, I invited people to come help me fight, but then really mm. mentally and in my heart, I just lost it. Eh? Lost it. Yeah. Why do you have a problem with the statement that God hates divorce? You were telling me earlier, you don't like that statement. Well, yeah, I, I don't like it. And I, I think it's, uh, it keeps a lot of people in marriages because of that statement. Uh, so. I knew I was going to lose friends because there are a lot of people who believe in that statement, God hates divorce. But then when I was deciding to leave, my thought was, is divorce a bigger sin than just, I don't know, um, committing adultery mm -hmm. or um, just being unhappy? I, I don't read the Bible so much now, but then before I used Why to read. So? Well, I, I just... I have these seasons where I read a book very much. Mm. I know um, what it says. Mm. I, unless if I'm interested in a phrase, then mm. I will come back to it. But mm. then I, I know what it is says. Mm. Eh? I've really studied it. Yes. So um, in Ephesians, I think it says, do not conform to the, the ways of the world, mm. but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Mm -hmm. So that statement for me, it's like, don't conform to the society. Don't conform to what people think, mm. how people perceive, but mm. then be transformed by the renewal of your mind. What is renewal of your mind? Mm. How you think, um, how you, when things change, be transformed. Mm. And so for me, people conform, mm. but then I wanted to be transformed. Yes. And that's, it's the same Bible which is saying, hey, God hates divorce, but mm. then it's also saying when your mind is renew renewed, be. you be transformed. Mm. Yeah, I'm seeing God is yes. after my happiness. Yes. And I sinned, I, I declared something before people and I'm going against that, but mm. then that's not the biggest sin mm. I've committed. I yeah. think they're even worse. Seems. But then um, there are also other things mm. that I've done which are good. So. And anyway, it's God who judges me, so mm. it's, it's not really people. Mm. Uh, so I don't like this statement. Yes. And I actually lost a lot of friends because of my divorce. Mm. But um, I'm living for me and for God mm. and is the judge. And um, yeah. Yeah. A lot of people, you know, they make that step. When you're traveling outside, you get married because of the paperwork and all these yeah. things yeah. they have to go. What would you say now, having known better? I think just listen more to your heart than just doing things for the formalities mm -hmm. or doing things out of fear because one of the things, one of the reasons why I got, I was thinking we should get married is I'm fearing when I go to Belgium, will I be able to date someone? You're going for two years and then maybe I don't know how long you're coming back. Mm -hmm the husband is gone or your future husband is mm -hmm. gone will you find another mate mm -hmm. or you will find another partner so yeah. they start fear and of in Belgium you call them mate well <laughs> no it's partner it's yes. uh, yeah but then it's still a mate and yes. whatever yeah. but um, you're you're thinking okay you're you're going to another place when yeah. you come back the society has changed mm -hmm. people have moved mm -hmm. on will you be able to find another person mm -hmm. who's fitting your characteristics. So mm -hmm. there was for me that fear that I will go yes. and then I will not be able to come back. Yeah. And anyway, I was going to come back. So why not just mm -hmm. cement everything? Mm -hmm. I go do whatever I'm doing and then I come back. Mm -hmm. And if I go and I know I'm really not a social person, yeah. I'm not a party person, mm -hmm. I'm going to a different culture. Yeah. Will I be able to integrate and start finding people there? Mm -hmm. So there's the unknown, and then it makes you settle for what's comfortable, mm. what you know. Mm. So 
don't do things out of fear. Yeah, if you really are not comfortable with your with your partner mm. when you're leaving, mm. don't just do it for the paperwork or for the fear. I yeah. mean, God knows what will happen. Just yes. go study. If it's meant to be, it, it will, will be. be. Yeah, mm. and if it's if it's what is not meant to be, then it yeah, it won't. Mm. Things will lock out in the mm. future. You will probably come back. You find still another yeah. mate, another yeah. person, another in, mate. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, another person, another partner yes. in Kenya or yeah. wherever. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, now the world is so small. Mm. Who knows where your partner is? is eh? Yeah. Assuming he watches this conversation, yeah. what would you tell him? Well, I. <laughs> I would tell him like I'm really sorry for this because he was really a nice person. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot of things from him, and this is not actually to put him in a bad light. Mm -hmm. It's just it's really uh, it's about it, it's about me. I'm just um, he wasn't the right match for me, and that's why I left. Not because he was a bad person. Mm -hmm. So I'm really sorry for what I put him through, and I think. I should have taken, uh, I should have been bolder earlier and mm -hmm. just broke off the relationship mm -hmm. earlier. Yeah, we waited too long before we we broke it off. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm sorry and I really hope him all the best and mm -hmm. I hope he's happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, uh, It's unfair to ask what you would tell him without also asking what would you want your husband to know? I love him so much mm -hmm. and I, I'm so happy with him and I look forward to uh, see him. Yeah. Yeah. Back. You're yeah, just, yeah, you, yeah. You're gonna yeah. take a train back. Yes. Yes. I'm uh -huh. taking a train back. He's yeah. working from home. Yes. So he's um. He he's the one who took the kids to school yeah. today because mm. uh, I had to take the earlier train than Thank I normally. You for, Thank you. Yeah. Than I normally take to go to work. Thank so, you for the yeah, effort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's uh he sent me a message asking how is it. Yes. And I told him yeah I'm just appreciating how green. The it places. is outside. Yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, I look forward to see him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It yeah. looks like you take a lot of risks in life. Yes, that's true. I'm a very, very risky person. Yes. Yeah. I, if I was to tell you my whole life, mm. I would take mm, the whole spend day. day. Yeah. What's your profession here in Germany? What do you do? Oh, so it's in Belgium. Belgium. Mm. So I am a statistician mm. and also a statistical programmer. Yes. So um, I studied BSc uh, Statistics mm -hmm. in University of Nairobi mm -hmm. and then I got a um, master's to do um, a scholarship to do master's in uh, biostatistics mm -hmm. and then my PhD was also in statistics. Yeah. For the Kenyans watching and they might want to come and get you know opportunities in Belgium and you know they are looking what is the number one tip that you would give anyone that wants to come here? I actually get a lot of people asking not now mm. but previously people mm. would ask me like do you have links for for scholarships mm. all the information is online so all you need to do is um, look for the information mm -hmm. online mm -hmm. once you once you find it mm. apply mm. and scholarships are they are free you don't need to pay so anyone who's telling you to pay it's then lying. it's they are really lying eh? for me i just applied mm. then you get feedback you mm. got it or not and when you're applying the most important thing is you really have to put yourself your best self out in your in your application letter yes. so like um uh, for me when i was applying um because i know you're coming from Kenya to Belgium, mm. that's totally a different culture. So you have to show like, are you ad an adaptable person? Give personal experiences mm. or give personal instances where you are able to adapt. Mm. And then also show like, um, why do you want yes. this application? Why do you want this scholarship? Mm. So for me, my parents were poor. Well, they were, we were okay. We were not really going hungry, but then they could not afford, afford much. They could not afford to Education. pay for my, mm. my, um, Masters, mm. also for the university, I got uh, the, the help. That means, yeah, they could not afford that. Mm. They could, on, could not afford my, mm -hmm. yeah. So the fact that they could not financially afford that, mm. then I needed this. Mm. And I needed the education because I wanted to work in statistics. Mm. I needed to uh, advance my, mm. my skills. So mm. you really have to put these points 
very personal and just be open about it. Mm. Don't like um, uh, write a general letter. Mm. It has to be really personal. So you don't have to go paying people and no. For me, all I didn't. Things. Yeah, for me, yeah. I didn't pay. Mm. I just you search online. You mm. you find the you find the links. And then just apply. apply. Yes. Yeah. Then uh, they are asking for you to certify the certificate. Mm. Just do that. Mm. I mean, it, it's really clear. Yeah. And if it's not clear. There's always an email somewhere where they're saying you can contact us with questions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I want to wind up, Victoria, but from the conversation that we've had, yeah. what is it you would want people to take away from your story? Um, the first thing I want to say is now I'm very happy mm. and I'm happy how things turned out. So it's uh, the statement to summarize this is like not all endings are failures. Mm. A lot of people will see my move as a disappointment or as a failure, but then I don't see it like that. Mm. I really learned a lot mm. uh, from that experience, and I'm really happy. At, mm. I'm really happy where yes. I am. So yeah. it's it's it was a failure. It mm. was an ending, but mm. then it's not really a, a failure. failure. Yeah. Hmm. Um, then the other thing is, it doesn't matter how much you had in the past, as long as you're still breathing, your hands are still working, your brain is still working, whatever you've lost before, it's property, yeah. or maybe you're mm -hmm. successful before mm -hmm. and now currently mm -hmm. things are not working mm -hmm. out, as long as you have the wheel, you can start from where you are and mm. just move on and things come. Yeah. I mean, everything is temporal. Even tomorrow you, you can lose, guaranteed. but then, yeah. So you just forget about the past, all, all the failures. All we really have yeah. is now. Yeah, and mm. if we have the will to continue, we will continue. We will buy new tables mm. and we'll buy new beds and we'll get richer and yeah. we'll, yeah. So mm. don't be afraid of leaving things yes. behind yes. to start afresh. Yeah. Or don't be afraid of um, your failures mm. or the, the past mm. successes. Eh? Yeah. Just have the will that yes. things can change yeah. and you can work. You, you have the hands, yes. you have the brain. And you're breathing. Yeah, and you're breathing. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Um, anything you wanted to touch on that we've not touched on? Anything you want to add on? Just listen to your heart. Mm. If you're happy, that's it. That's it. Mm. Don't listen to other people. Of course, listen to God. Um, but also just listen to what makes sense mm. to you, mm. yeah, and yes. sometimes what makes sense to you doesn't make sense to me, yeah. yeah, so if it doesn't make sense to me and it's not illegal, mm. <laughs> then yeah, just listen do that, to your yeah. Heart. yeah, listen to your heart. That's good, yeah. thank you for Thank even, you. you know, coming all the way. It's a two and a half journey. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, you're too, too. Too. Yeah, 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 So thank yeah, you yeah, for yeah. just taking time and coming to have a conversation with us and just for watching our work from a distance. We don't take it for granted. And I hope someone who is in a situation that they feel they can't get out, they decide to get out because of your story. We end up losing a lot by wanting to make the society happy that we forget ourselves. So I hope whoever watches can just know it's okay. If things, if you're not happy, you're not happy. And as long as you're breathing, you can be able to handle anything. But for those who might want to get hold of you, how can they, do you have an email or how can they reach out? My Facebook is uh, Victoria. If you yes. look for Victoria Nyaga and yeah. you know my face, yeah, you that's probably, it. No, uh, you'll see my face and yeah. also Instagram. Um, yes. I have a profile. Yeah. And if you just Google me, yes. you'll find a lot of information because uh, I, I publish. Mm. Um, I'm a scientist and I publish so you yeah. just find my faces. They everywhere. find it there. Yeah. yeah, thank you. I have to wind up. So all the best as you go back thank home you. and please say hello to your family uh, for us.
I do not take your support for granted. And for you, my people back at home, you know, the thing I always ask you is what what's your take home uh, from today's conversation? And that's something I've said before. By the way, as long as you're breathing, nothing is hard. And just appreciating the moment, the present. We worry so much about the future. Just appreciate this moment. I am reminded of a song that says, all we really have is now, which you know, it's true, but let me know what are your thoughts, what did you think about our guest's conversation today, her story, what's your take home, and what do you think about our um, continuing, uh, you know, episodes from Belgium and Germany, and where do you want to see us next? Yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, and not forgetting to thank the people who have made this, pro, you know, these whole episodes, the whole trip to Europe uh, happen, our friends at Tap Tap Send, guys, if you want to send money try tap tap and of course kings developers for amazing properties that they have going on and of course again diaspora insurance thank you for your support we do not take you guys for granted and to my incredible team for compiling this episode and making sure it reaches you guys right on time info at lnn.digital that's where you can find me or lin.gugi at lnn.digital if case you want to share your story or you want to share something with me and you are not okay putting it on the comment section and we appreciate feedback too as long as it's positive criticism we are here for it see you tomorrow at 10 a.m at Safari Europe bye bye <laughs>